Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everyone. This is Cecilia. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Colin, how's your weekend? Not bad. I saw this really great film called Castaway. Have you seen it? Yeah, it's starred by Tom Hanks, right? 这个电影翻译过来叫做《荒岛余生》。大概呢，就是讲汤姆汉克斯这个角色流落荒岛，在荒岛上面顽强的求生，最后从身体和心灵两个层面都完成了自己的救赎的故事。Yeah, speaking of the film, it reminded me of a question. What question? If you are cast away on a small island and you are allowed to have only one thing from modern society, what would you choose? Uh, that's a hard choice. I need an air conditioner because I can't live without an AC in summer, <laughs> and I guess it is pretty hot on an island, right? I also need a flashlight so that I won't be blind at night, and I need. Hold on, hold on. Only one thing, okay? You are moving the whole electronics store to the <laughs> island. Okay. Oh, I know what to ask for. My phone. I can die, but I can't be bored to death. Besides, I can use my phone to call for help. Oh, I'm so smart. <laughs> okay. Well, since you're that smart, tell me, how is it possible that you can find a signal on an uninhabited island, and where are you going to charge your phone when your phone is out of power? Uh, yeah, you're right. Well, I don't need to think about this because I will not let myself end up on an island. I can't be separated with my phone. No way. Yeah. No wonder you chose it to be our topic today. <laughs> 是的，因为今天我们要讲的呢，其实就是关于现代人生活中密不可分的一样东西啊，就是手机。刚才刚刚提到了一个点哈、啊，就是说在荒岛上，手机上没有信号了。那么没有信号，他是怎么说的呢 ？There is no signal, or you can say I've got no signal. Right, no signal 其实就可以用来表示没有信号。那信号不好，电话就会容易掉线。掉线，我们用 drop call 来表示。嗯、mm, ，For example, my phone keeps dropping calls. 嗯，我的电话一直掉线哈。Another sentence: the call dropped after about ten seconds. But nowadays, people seldom call anymore. Most of the time, we use、uh, WeChat and other apps to communicate. Yeah, I can't even remember the last time I called any people. And every time I receive a call, it's either a delivery guy or a spam call. I hate spam calls. Well, <laughs> oh, by the way, do you know the difference between a cold call and a spam call? 哎，这里就要给大家解释一下这个 cold call 和 spam call 的区别了。首先呢，他们都是指骚扰电话哈。那 spam call 它更多的是指这种自动的拨号程序给你发送的语音广告。大多数都是诈骗，但是严格的说呢，大家经常接到的那种推销电话就不算是 spam call 了，它是 cold call， 因为 cold call 的来电好歹都是真人呢哈，大多数都是一些电话销售人员给你打来的。Yeah, it's actually a form of telemarketing, you know, um, a method of selling in which someone employed by a company telephones people to try and persuade them to buy the company's products or services. Right. 这个 telemarketing 就是我们说的电话营销。本来呢，它是一种正常的推销手段，但是因为用的人太多了，而且呢，还有很多人用意它其实不是推销产品，而是诈骗，所以现在人们都把 cold call 等同于 spam call 了。So we were talking about how people nowadays tend to use social media to communicate instead of calling. That means we depend so much on Wi-Fi and data now. 对。前段时间还看到大家都在微博上各种致敬这个 WiFi 之母哈，那所以呢 ，WiFi 相信大家都知道了。那 data 其实就是我们说的流量。Yeah, at the end of every month, you can always hear Cecilia yelling, "Ah, I'm out of data." <笑>每到月底呢，就会发现流量不够了。嗯，说到这个呀，我们说流量的时候用的单位一般都是说多少多少兆，或者说多少多少 G， 对不对？那么在英文里面它是怎么读的呢？嗯、mm, ，OK， we use、uh, megs and gigs. Megs and gigs 写的时候呢，会写成 MB 或者是 GB， 就这么写哈。那 megs 就是我们说的兆 ，gigs 就是 G 了。For example, I have five gigs per month. 嗯
，就是说我每个月有五 G 的流量。You know, I guess for the most part, I understand your addiction to phones. However, there is one thing I really can't understand. Why do you attach so much importance to the phone case? You girls change it so frequently. See, I've been using the same phone case since I bought this phone, and that was a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah, I got your point. Actually, I am not one of those people who change a phone case once a week, but I totally understand them. You know, there are so many pretty phone cases out there, and every time you change a case, you feel like you've got a new phone. 不知道在听节目的朋友里面有没有爱好收藏手机壳的哈？那手机壳呢？我们叫做 phone case。Well, I'm trying to understand that. <laughs> I do change my phone screen protector once in a while. I guess that must feel the same. Hmm. 对啊，就跟你换屏保其实是一样的呀，就是讲换个心情嘛。那屏保就是刚刚 Colin 说的这个 screen protector. So, what do you usually do when you spend time on your phone? Uh, nothing special actually. 就是刷刷朋友圈呀，刷刷微博呀，一个小时就过去了。哎，大家有没有想过朋友圈的英文要怎么说呀 ？Well, it certainly isn't friend circle. <laughs> yeah. 那其实呢，朋友圈的英文呢是 moment， 因为其实你发一条朋友圈，也就是记录了一个时刻嘛。那刷朋友圈，我们可以说 browse moments. Browse 就表示浏览。I saw the picture of your dinner on your moments, which looked delicious. Where is that restaurant? Ah, it's only ten minutes walk from the company. I'll send you the location later. 大家有没有注意？刚刚 Colin 说，在你的朋友圈看到了一张照片。这个在你的朋友圈用的是 on your moments。注意用这个介词 on。Yeah, I noticed that because you haven't posted、um, a moment for a while. Yeah, <laughs> I'm too lazy to do that. 我比较少发朋友圈哈、啊。那发朋友圈，我们用 post 这个动词，表示发表。发送 ，post a moment 就是指发送一条朋友圈。Yeah, you know, since I'm sitting next to Cecilia, I always have to remind her stop browsing moments and get some work done. That's not true. I never do that at work time. Well, that was just an example sentence. Fine, I just come up with one excellent sentence. I caught Colin looking through my phone yesterday. Hey, that's not true. Why would I look through your phone? <laughs> I said it was just an example sentence. 我们经常说谁谁谁翻我手机了。那翻手机怎么表达呢？你不能说 check one's phone， 那就变成看一下了。也不能说 touch my phone， 它就表示碰了我的手机。我们可以用短语 go through 或者说 look through 来表示翻看手机里面的内容或者信息。Look through one's phone. All right. You know this is just pure retaliation. <laughs> I think it's time to call it a. All right. 好吧 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Thanks for listening, everyone. This is Colin. This is Cecilia. See you next time. Bye. Bye.